How does a person connect to everybody? How does a person be able to engender so much love? And I think what the answer is, is authenticity. Johnny is the role model of what it means to give to others. He has the patience of a saint. He knows how to connect to every child in their way. There are those children that may be perceived as more challenging, but not for Johnny. He can connect with every single person, no matter what the age, always giving of himself for the school and also for the community. It's beautiful. I finished nursing school about three years ago, and I, and I told Rachel, you know, until I find something that I want to do in nursing, is there anything at the school? She said, yeah, yeah, I think we'll, we'll find something, maybe subbing. And then I was subbing, and then that turned into, well, I actually really like it here. I actually love being here, and I don't really want to do anything else right now. And then it's been three years that I haven't blinked once and haven't regretted a single moment. I just wanted to stay here. When I think of Johnny, I think of someone who is trustworthy, responsible, charismatic, funny, and full of love. He's just a ball of fun. He makes everyone laugh, makes you feel good, and whatever you need, he will be there for you. Johnny is uh, very sensitive to the needs of students, but he's also very playful. And uh, he would always make them laugh, and he would make me laugh as well. He taught me not to take teaching too seriously and to approach the student with kindness and compassion. Everyone knows Johnny. Every single person, not only in the school community, but the synagogue community and the outer community know Johnny. He's the first person you see on a daily basis when you walk into the building. And he knows every little detail about every child in this school. The teachers care about the kids. The teachers actually care about what's going on in their lives. You feel like they're your friends. And you feel like you know everybody. Johnny wears many hats in the school, and yet he's fully committed to each task and carries it out with tremendous excellence. One of the famous things that Johnny's known for is, you know, some people like to give high fives. Johnny is a high one. So he likes to take, go up to the kids and say, give me a high one. Here's a high one. So that's, that's something that we all remember Johnny for. And the kids love running up to Johnny to give him that high one on a daily basis. You're working hard. It's late at night. You want to get home. But then there is Johnny and he's just cracking joke after joke after joke. And he's making this tedious work and you're cutting it like my fingers are in pain. And he's just cracking jokes and all of a sudden it's not not so tedious anymore, it's fun. Like you're having a great time. He makes my kids feel happy. He builds their confidence, he builds their self-esteem. He makes them feel um, just happy all around. And that's who Johnny is. He's the one that's there in the morning when they're going to school and they're greeted at the door by him. And at the end of the day, he's the one who says goodbye to them as well. He's just always there. Since, uh, since I was at the HHA, I never thought I wanted to do nursing just because I enjoyed it so much here. But I think in Israel, with, with what's going on there and the help that they need, I think it's something that I could use, that it's something that I could be a part of there, taking care of people in the hospitals, taking care of people on the field. Obviously, it's, it's hard to say goodbye. It's not easy to say goodbye to all these kids that, that you've built relationships with. But the hardest thing actually is saying goodbye to the staff. You look at people like Yaakov Morel, Rachelie Dukes, Joy Zients. They're here nonstop, 24-7. And it's not, it's not about what's on their job title. It's about this, is, this work is so important. And whatever, whatever we have to do to get it done, we'll get it done. And I never cared what my job description was. I never cared what they put on that piece of paper. I was like, I want to be a part of this with them. Whatever they're doing, I want to do too. Like, I wanted to be a part of it because they were a part of it. While we're gonna miss Johnny, we're also so proud of him as he leaves for Eretz Israel and turns the page on his journey of life. So, Hatzlacha to you. You will, will be missed by everyone. Thank you, Johnny. You're the best teacher ever, we ever knew.